Good evening, folks. It's Terry Travels the Universe. I'm showing off a little piece that doesn't quite work yet. It's an old German Rumalux lighter. Acquired this, you know, it's got a cool little 3D print on it, if you can see that. It's pretty cool. Um, you got the original paperwork, part of the box. You know, it doesn't work at the moment. But just to show you, it's got a little heating element in there that fires it up. Got a built-in flashlight. Very cool lighter. It's a collectible piece. Here's the issue. These. It's a Rulag 2-volt battery. Lead acid. They don't make these anymore. You can't find them. Me and my oldest son are uh, working on a design to potentially, if it works, make an adapter for this that runs off of a 1.5-volt battery or two 4A 1.5 volts to make it a 3 volt. It will work. I've tested the lighter. It works. I've had to do a little rigging, but it worked. Um, but once we get this little adapter made, I'll do another video on it showing you the adapter and showing you that it works. And uh, it's pretty neat. Neat little piece there. I said it's just different. Wish I would have got the whole box top with it. It'd be make it even cooler. Yeah, you know, these... You've always seen those in my other videos. This thing, yes, I did a video on it. I just can't get enough of it. It's actually next to Zippo. It's one of my all-time favorite lighters. I love that. Look at that jet. That's just so cool. I said it before. If you guys don't have one of these bitty jet lighters, you need to get one. They are just very cool, very cool design. Way ahead of its time when they were made and patented in the 1930s. This is early patent number if I'm not mistaken it is early 1940s very very cool lighter this I just love this thing I just can't wait to get it working but back to business I have to put out a gigantic thank you to Joe from dependableflame.com he made a video this morning you know showing some love for what I'm doing I'm very new at this it's a work in progress and it just blew my mind this morning. So, Dependable Flame Joe, you are the best, dude. You are the man. And I greatly appreciate everything, you know, with that promotion. And for those of you who don't know who Dependable Flame is, that man knows more about vintage petrol lighters than anybody I've ever seen. He is amazing. His videos are well informative. He's a great eBay seller. He's got a lot of cool stuff. Very straight up guy. I mean, he is straight up just a great dude. And um, in the comments of there, another buddy, uh, Zippo Fanatic 77 Outdoors, another great stand-up guy, man. If if he doesn't know, he knows Zippo so well. If he doesn't know it, it doesn't exist. He does awesome videos on repairing lighters, fixing them, little tricks of the trade. Um, has a lot of knowledge to pass on through his videos. He does some amazing custom work on his Zippos. He did a, uh, what I call the sexy Velma on one of his Zippos. Oh my God, that thing was just amazing. He did a rose gold uh, etchings on some of his stuff. Just phenomenal custom stuff that he does. Guys, stand up. Um, for those of you who really want to learn, Dependable Flame and Zippo Fanatic Outdoor 77, those guys really know what they're doing. As far as, you know, lighter instructional videos. I've learned a lot from them. And I'm still learning. And I just ha I can't say enough good things about those two guys. They are great. Um, so give them a check out if you haven't heard of them. Or checked out their videos. Give them a shout out. They're really good guys. They, they answer questions. You know, if you need parts, things like that, they can tell you where to find them. Hey, they might even have them. I don't know. Um... But until next time, this is Terry Travels the Universe. I will see you guys later. And uh, Joe from Dependable Flame, thank you again. Very much appreciated, my friend. And to uh, Zippo Fanatic Outdoors, same to you, brother. I will uh, catch you all later.